Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss about escape velocity. First of all we need to define what is escape velocity and how we can calculate the escape velocity for a body when it, uh, it escapes from the gravitational pull of the earth. First of all escape velocity is the velocity of a body when a body uh, is away or uh, out from the center or gravitational pull of the earth and uh, at the when body reach at the point or at some uh, option portion of the uh, surface or the sphere or the atmosphere uh, you can say that there is no when there is no gravitational pull it is known as body is, is in escape velocity so we need to find the escape velocity of a body when it escapes from the earth gravitational pull first of all when body moves with the escape velocity, with the with an initial velocity, the kinetic energy of the initial velocity will be kinetic energy of initial velocity will be half m v square. This uh, velocity is known as escape velocity. So when body is gone to the infinite point, there will be an absol uh, absolute potential energy applied on this. Uh, as soon as or as much as the body goes away from the earth and goes toward the infinite point the, uh, there is an increase in potential energy so the increase in potential energy will be increase in potential energy will be m g or oh sorry uh, uh, the relationship between the absolute potential energy will be g m m over r so in order to calculate this uh, when kinetic energy, initial kinetic energy of the body and increase in potential energy are balanced with each other. So in this relation we can find the escape velocity. When this is balanced with each other the body can escape, escape and go to the infinite point. In this case half mv square, this is known as escape, is equal to g m m over r. So, uh, from this relation, you can see that the mass is on the both sides of the equation and we can cancel this mass uh, from the basic mathematics. The final expression will be half mv square, m is cancelled out 1, one by 2 v square, this v is escape velocity is equal to g m over r. So we know that when uh, 2 is divided in this side and it will go on the other side of the equation or on the, under, uh, on the other side of the equal, the, uh, if it is divided and it will be multiplied in the second side, then V escape square is equal to 2G M over R. So uh, this is not a final term because we do not know the R value of R. Uh, we do not know that uh, the distance between the body or distance between the object and the surface of the earth we need to replace that because we know this g is a gravitational constant we know the, its value this m is a mass of earth and we also know its value and we do not know the value of r in order to uh, overcome this in order to reduce this we need to uh, we need to apply this expression g is equal to g m over r scale so first of all, we need to uh, put the expression g m in this uh, form, then we, we can get rid of this r. So if we uh, replace this term or find the value of g m is equal to this r square will be multiplied by in, on the other side, it will become g r square. So if we put the value of g m in this expression, then we can find the value of escape velocity. Escape velocity is equal to 2 gm over r so if we put this value of gm in this expression we can find out the value of r and it will be 2 g r square over r this r and if it is cancelled out the final term will be v escape square v escape square is equal to 2 g r 
and if we uh, take the uh, square root on both sides then the final term will be v escape is equal to 2 g and r square root so uh, we know that this is a final expression of the escape velocity if we put the values um, we know you know all the values uh, of the uh, constants v escape is equal to 2 g and r we know the value of g which is 9.8 meter per second square this we also know the value of r this is 6400 kilometer if we put this value the final term of the escape velocity will be for the earth escape velocity is equal to 11 kilometer per second this is an escape velocity if we change this radius then we can change the value of escape velocity it means that when body uh, is placed with the velocity of 11 km per second then it will go out from the earth gravitational field it will go to the infinite point at that point the gravitational pull will not act on it guys up till now we have finished about the escape velocity if you have any question you can contact me there on my email address or if you like our video you can subscribe our channel for more videos i have a lot of videos for you thank you so much see you soon bye bye